tonight at a time when a line is being drawn between criminal justice reforms and tougher gun, gun laws. A recent carjacking in Owen Mills has a civil rights leader calling for a crackdown. WMAR 2 News, Jeff Hager with more on that story tonight. A quick stop at a Chick-fil-A restaurant in Owings Mills set the stage for a woman driving a sporty 2018 Acura TLX to become a target. They followed her back to her house and that's where they where they um, kidnapped her um, and then took her and drove her to multiple ATMs on Town Road and then eventually um, put her out of the car. Members of the Regional Auto Theft Task Force tracked the vehicle to the parking lot of this convenience store along Pulaski Highway the following day. When police approached the car, two men bailed out and fled on foot, but both were captured. Both were no strangers to the law, and both had served time in prison, but just a fraction of their sentences. I don't understand how the judges are coming to the amount of time that these people are sentenced to. Um, I don't understand a system that allows people to just get out and you don't give them any help. You don't give them any resources to integrate them. You just throw them back out into society to continue to victimize uh, Marylanders. Coleman says the recidivism numbers in Baltimore County alone tell the story. 64% in Baltimore County we're using re-arrests. Um, that is a huge number. I mean, that's two thirds of the people getting out are reoffending. Coleman says there's not enough time during the current session, but he plans on forming a coalition to lobby lawmakers in Annapolis to address the problem when they return next year. In Owings Mills, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.